Hey everybody, welcome to Crazy Tech Lab and we have a suitably crazy device in the lab today. This is the Crucial T710. It is their latest PCI Express 5 SSD. Crucial, one of the first out of the blocks with uh, really, really decent PCI Express 5 SSDs that have heat sinks and all kinds of other stuff. Capable of well over 12,000 megabytes a second. We are dialing things up here today. We have the T710 that is capable of reading data at over 14,000 megabytes a second. 14,500 megabytes a second, in fact, it it's probably easier at this stage to start talking about gigabytes a second, just uh, given how fast this thing is. So PCI Express 5, you're gonna need a compatible M.2 port on your motherboard. You're probably gonna need some cooling for this thing as well. But as we saw with the recent Samsung 9100 Pro, the temperatures that these things run at are, are starting to drop, uh, come down. So you need less lavish cooling uh, than we did with the initial SSDs. And that's a good thing because we don't all want to have to have massive heat sinks on these things. A lot of people want to run this stuff in their laptops. And I'm at the moment, I'm having to tell people, yeah, don't run this stuff in your laptop. It gets too hot and it will just throttle. So we're going to be checking all of that out today, including some uh, speed benchmarks compared to other SSDs, seeing just what cooling you do need to actually keep this thing cool and stop it from throttling and coming to some conclusions at the end. So thanks to Crucial for sending over the T710 and also thanks to you guys for watching today's video. If you wouldn't mind just chucking a comment or even just a like down, the, uh, down below, just helps punch me through the algorithm and gets me noticed. And if you would subscribe to my channel, that would mean a huge amount as well. Again, just gets me noticed and I, it will always means a lot to have your support as well. So down below, you can see the buy link about where to buy this incredible, incredibly fast SSD and also my Amazon shop as well, where you can buy all the latest hardware that I've tried and tested here on the channel. I don't just shove things in a pretty PC and hope for the best, I actually test the hardware against other stuff to make sure it is worth your cash. And uh, lots of other links down in the description down below as well. And uh, you can even send your thanks by hitting the thanks button down below or even sending me a coffee. And don't forget to check out my Amazon shop as I've just mentioned. So that's it for the intro. Thanks to Crucial for sending over the T710 and we will crack on with the video. First up, we have temperatures, and these are pretty important for most M.2 SSDs, but especially so when it comes to PCI Express 5 SSDs because they do run pretty hot. Now, the Crucial T710 maybe sits a little bit below average compared to what I've seen with other uh, PCI Express 5 SSDs, but the Samsung 9100 Pro is still sitting a few degrees lower in the graph, 66 degrees C, and the peak temperature there versus 72 degrees for the Crucial. So both of those SSDs requiring a heatsink to avoid throttling, which happens pretty quickly as you top 80 degrees. Now, if you want cooler temperatures, the only option left to you, if you're not gonna be using a heatsink or your heatsink is pretty small, is to go for a PCI Express 4 SSD, such as the Samsung 9900 Pro. Now, these can throttle still if you have them under uh, long extended workloads, dishing out you know, very large files, uh, video files or something like that, pushing the SSD to its max, in this case around 7,000 megabytes a second for more than sort of 20 or 30 seconds. Uh, that can result in the SSD throttling, but the PCI Express 5 SSDs will throttle very quickly if you don't have a heatsink on them. Moving on to the sequential tests, and the Samsung 9100 Pro and the Crucial T710 are within spinning distance here. It's very, very close, just within a few megabytes a second on both of those. So there isn't really a choice between them. I think if you're looking at focusing on sequential speeds, then it's basically whatever SSD is the cheapest or whatever capacity you're looking for. Now, compared to the Samsung 9900 Pro, we're looking at pretty much double the speeds, in fact, more than that on uh, on both metrics there i think um and that's just the benefit that you get with pci express 5 ssds the sequential speed is where the money that that's basically where you're putting your money if you're dealing with very large files on a regular basis they do offer a decent amount more speed double pretty much what you you'll be getting from any pci express 4 ssd Moving on to the perhaps more important random 4K tests uh, that are indicative of your the responsiveness of the SSD when it comes to day-to-day -day running in Windows, dealing with smaller files, games, and all that kind of stuff. We have the test here for you. So the Crucial T710 actually performing really, really well in this test. The fastest write speed, which is the uh, higher speed here, the 289 megabytes a second. And then we have the read speed at the top, 93 megabytes a second. Write speed, especially much faster than the Samsung 9100 Pro, 
And uh, just for comparison, the PCI Express 4 SSD, the Samsung 990 Pro at the bottom, um, obviously getting outstripped by both of the PCI Express 5 SSDs here. The final test is again a random 4K test and here we have a Q depth of 32 and we have the Samsung out on top, the 9100 Pro with a slightly faster read speed than the Crucial T710. As for the write speed, it was a little bit faster, so 5700 megabytes a second versus around 5000 megabytes a second, so a bit more of an advantage there. I think I'd probably say the Crucial wins out overall with slightly bigger margins on the single Q depth test uh, for random 4K that we had previously. And just again for comparison, we've got the Samsung 99, uh, 990 Pro sitting down there at the bottom of the graph, again with slim margins over it versus the PCI Express 5 SSD to some extent. So what do we make of the Crucial T710 then? Well, this thing is blisteringly fast and I think overall it just about has the measure of the Samsung 9100 Pro, largely thanks to that single 4K random test where it did edge out some significant leads in both read and write speeds. Also offering in the random 4K results um, some significant advantages over the Samsung 99. Uh, 990 Pro, sorry, which is the PCI Express 4 SSD. Um, obviously, double, more than double uh, the speed of that one in sequential workloads, but there were some advantages in the 4K random tests as well, which is interesting. So um, very, very fast. And the only thing that really matters is the price. We have talked about temperatures as well. The Crucial running a little bit hotter than the Samsung, but it's kind of beside the point. It's a moot point really, because you're gonna need a heatsink for both of them if you want to avoid throttling. Definitely don't recommend using either of those SSDs in your laptop because you just can't fit a big enough heatsink in there. You need a decent heatsink, either a third party or one on your motherboard. Probably on your, it's gonna be on your motherboard given that most PCI Express 5 SSD uh, motherboards uh, or capable motherboard, should I say, do come with fairly large heat sinks. The other thing is the price. Now, Crucial has a, uh, a recommended retail price of about 300 bucks for this thing. It's about 240 pounds here in the UK. Uh, 300 bucks is incidentally about the same as the uh, Samsung retails for. Now we are looking at a little bit less for the heatsink less version that we've got here. There will be a heatsink version coming as well. Um, I would probably go for the uh, the cheaper model because I think the heatsink one, it's, it's not going to fit in your laptop. And if you've got a motherboard that's PCI Express 5 compatible, um, chances are it's going to have a pretty large heatsink on there anyway on any PCI Express 5 supporting ports. So for me, I think it would probably just edge out the Samsung overall, thanks to that um, much higher random 4K result. Um, but for the price, we have a bit of an issue for Crucial, look, Crucial at the moment because the Samsung has a massive discount right now in the Prime sale. So you can pick up the two terabyte model for less than 200 bucks, which is kind of a steal for that caliber of SSD. So it's received a 30% price cut, which is massive. Um, so I don't know whether Crucial is kind of waiting for the Prime sale to kind of go away so prices can go back to normal. But right now that SSD is crazy. You can see a link to it down below as well, and uh, as well as a link to where you can buy the Crucial 2. So obviously if there's that much of a price difference between the two, then the Samsung is probably the one to go for. Um, the Crucial is only really worth it if the price is the same or maybe 10 to 20 bucks more. I wouldn't go any, any more than that because the Samsung really isn't that much slower, if at all. So all comes down to price per gigabyte as usual, depends where you are in the world, depends what offers there are, um, but the Crucial, um, just edging out the Samsung in terms of performance, but it all depends on that price. So make sure you compare the, the price of the two and check out any deals that are available, uh, available, especially over the next few days in the Amazon Prime sale. So that's it from me today. Thanks to Crucial for sending over the SSD. Don't forget to like and comment down below, just helps punch me through the algorithm and gets me noticed. Loads of links down below as well, especially where to buy this and the Samsung and a whole bunch of other stuff in my Amazon shop where I've tried and tested all of the stuff in there so you know it's worth the money. And uh, other than that, just feel free to click that subscribe button and turn on notifications as well. So that's it from me today. Thanks for watching. I'll be back very soon.